How's it going guys? Revel here coming at you guys with a brand new video and today I'm going to be doing a video that I usually don't normally do but it's going to be a review on Coutinho. Now as you guys know he has been coming out with footman's cards every single day counting down the days until Christmas. Um, I haven't liked any of, the, any of the cards that they've done besides the Sun but the Sun was a striker and I didn't, he didn't really fit my team good. I was looking for a left winger, a Brazilian left winger, just someone good. And today they dropped Coutinho. And if you guys know, my favorite team is Barca, so I had to do this card. Now, if we take a look at it, he actually has a really good card. It's a 90 rated card. Um, but most people are complaining that this card isn't like uh, that much of an upgrade from the Champions League card. But look at the design itself. If you're a Barca fan, you'll love this card. Look at the design. It's amazing. Look at the dynamic image that they have. It's amazing compared to just a normal face that they have on the Champions League or normal card. And... For the upgrades you do get, I think it's worth it. Even though they're all plus one, you will be able to tell the difference. Because when I use Champions League cards um, compared to their normal cards, I do tell a difference on their card. So let's just look at his card. So he's a 90 rated card, left winger. Um, in La Liga, as we know, there's not that many good left wingers in La Liga since Bernardo left. So Coutinho is probably the best left winger you get in that position. Uh, he's four star, five star. High, high work rates, amazing. Right foot, so he could cut in if you want to play him on the left wing spot. He's 5'8", um, 83 pace, 93 dribbling, 83 shot, 88 pace, passing, uh, and 67 physical, which is, I think, a really, really good card. Even as a left winger, you could play him as that cut in, finesse shot. You know, he does that all the time in real life and in game. So, if we look at his attributes... He's got 91 acceleration, which is really, really good. That's something I, that I liked about Coutinho. When I did use him, his normal card, um, it was like 81 pace, but he felt super, super fast. It was because of his agility and his acceleration combined together. When he comes out of a skill move, it is so fast. It reminds me of Neymar when he does that. Now, I hope this card does the same stuff. He's got 76 sprint speed, which is okay. 86 attack positioning, so he's always in the right spot. 78 finishing, 85 shot power, and 95 long shots. Um, the long shots on this guy are insane from his base card, so I know it's going to be even better on this one. It's an upgrade from 93 long shots from his base to 95 long shots on this one. Uh, 93 curve, 82 long pass and short pass, so you could play him as a cam, you could play him as a center mid. He'll do perfect. 88 free kick accuracy, 80 crossing, 92 vision, and the dribb look at the dribbling stats. 93 dribbling, look at all those. Wow, that's really the key standout from there is probably the balance and the agility and then the physical you got the stamina which is more than enough stamina to last you the whole game so if you guys look at the requirements on this card it's an 85 rated team with two informs or two screen players minimum 85 chem one player from barcelona and two players from brazil so the way i did this these are all untradeables except the two informs that you see up there i packed handanovic i packed hamsik alaba all those players right there and then I just bought those two informs right there. So, at, le at least it's not an 86 rated squad. So, it's not that expensive. The Sun was like 250, 300k because it was an 86 rated squad. So, it's not that bad. You need to get an 88, an 87, an 86. And then two 85s and a couple 84s. It's not that bad, honestly. At this point in the game, if you do untradeable rewards, you should, you should, should, should be able to make this SBC for less than 100k. If you're doing more than 100k, then you're playing the game wrong, and you're not getting your rewards, or doing upgrade packs, or getting lucky at all. But, yeah, this guy cost me 15k, this guy cost me 14k, I, this SPC cost me 29k for the Coutinho, so we're going to go ahead and do it right now. Dun, 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 dun. Completed. Coutinho, and he does walk out, as you guys know. So here we do have the squad that I actually ended up playing with. We have Pickford, uh, Sanchez, Van Dyke, Walker. I did do the Van Anholt. If you guys would like to see a review on that, let me know. 
This looked pretty good. Uh, I got Lerma, Fred, Roberto Firmino, Lucas, Richarlison, and the man of the hour, Coutinho. All right, guys. So this is a squad that we did go up against. It was a basic Germany. It said Germany right there, but it's a Bundesliga team. It had Road to the Final Philip up top with Muller, Witzel, Pulisic, Rudy, Bailey, a bunch of other Bundesliga players, which it was an average team. It wasn't that good compared to our stacked Coutinho squad that we just did, the footmas Coutinho. So one thing that I want to point out right away is the agility on Coutinho. He is really agile. If you're looking for a player that moves the ball, isn't clunky, is fast, could do skills, come out of skills super fast, it's Coutinho. Now, if you look at the background a lot throughout this video, he does do a lot of step overs, ball rolls, uh, fake shots, uh, roulettes, and he does come out of them really quick, and he does pull them off most of the time. In the background right here, a free kick. I didn't make a free kick with him, but his stats are good for free kick. If you guys are good at free kicks, he's perfect for you guys. I'm not that good at free kicks, but I was pretty close thanks to this card. Another thing that I want to point out is his pace. It's 83 pace on his card. Now, you guys might be like, oh, that's not that fast compared to players like Bale and Bappe, um, other players, Aubameyang. But Coutinho actually does feel fast, and it's because of his agility and his movement on the ball, on and off the ball. Right there in the background, we saw a cross. He is deadly with the crosses and passing in general. He's a really good passer on the ball. I played him left wing in the first half, and he was able to kind of construct the midfield and the offense as well. He was always on the ball, doing some kind of play. And as we see right here in the background, he did go for a finesse shot, but it did go wide. I would like to point out that his specialty shot in this game is finesse shots. Finesse shot, finesse shot, finesse shot. Uh, right here in the background, he does go for a fake shot. And then he does go for another skill. And he does go down. So that is partly because of his strength. His strength isn't that good at all. Like, <laughs> he does get muscled off the ball. Uh, one way to avoid that is doing one-two passes or just skilling around him. And right here, Coutinho does go for the penalty. And I miss the ball. I miss it, the goal, but it wasn't Coutinho's fault. And then it comes off, and Coutinho bangs it. So that's Coutinho's first goal in the 17th minute. Um, you guys will probably be like, oh, that was lucky. But it's partly because of his positioning. Now, if he didn't have good positioning, he would not be there. He feels kind of like an Aguero and a Bombing. Which is weird because he's a winger. Look at that finish. But he does have some kind of movement to him that he's always involved in the play. Like he'll always be making runs even though I'm not controlling the runs. You know what I mean? It's kind of like he's always running by himself. He's playing by himself. And all I have to do is switch to him, skill, and then score or pass the ball. Which I really like about this card. I like when cards do that. For example, um, Messi. Messi is a card that doesn't really do that he usually sits back he doesn't make runs uh but you look at aguero aguero does make runs and Coutinho for me if you play him as a cam he will be the best cam in the la liga besides messi i don't know messi's just out of this world in this game but Coutinho is the second best cam in la liga and i really really am looking forward to playing more with this guy because as a as my team stands i do need a left winger and he fits perfectly so I can play him as a cam. Another thing that I want to point out about Coutinho is his shot. As you guys saw the first goal, it was a pretty good finish. But he does particularly better at finesse shots. So if you guys go for finesse shots a lot, he's <laughs> honestly, I would say top three player. Number one would be Messi. Two would be like, um, what would two be? Two, two, I don't know who would two be. But Messi is definitely the best finesse, shot, finesse shotter on this game. And Coutinho is really, really good. I know there's probably someone better than Coutinho that's in between him and Messi, but I can't put my finger on it right now. Um, but Coutinho is really good at the finesse shots. If you look right here, he does pull off a fake shot, finesse shot, and he does save it. Um, Coutinho is also really, really good at passing the ball. I know I said that, but he is always there to make the pass. And right here in the background, whoop, a finesse shot. I'm telling you guys, finesse shot, and the opponent does end up rage quitting. <laughs> so he did end up rage quitting because of the Coutinho shot. Now, all in all, this Coutinho card, he is a card that is full with everything that you want. You can play him in the midfield, you can play him cam, you can play him left wing, right wing, 
Maybe striker, I wouldn't play him striker, but you could do that if you wanted to. All in all, I would suggest that you guys do this card. Out of 10, I would give him an 8.5 just because of his strength, a little bit of pace, and his finishing. Now, I hope you guys did enjoy this video if you guys would like to see more. Now, please be kind in the comments. It was my first review ever on a card. I know it was a little, little off, but if you guys did enjoy it, please subscribe, leave a like, comment down below if you guys want to see more, and if you do, what player do you guys want to see? Uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.